Hi, welcome for our uh, RTL online trainings and placements. In this, in, in this session, we'll discuss how to create a legal address, how to create a legal entity, and how to make it as legal employer and also associate with PSU and assign this PSU to legislative data group. That's what we are going to discuss. First, we are going to have a legal address here. Let's go to the task, manage legal address. Whenever we are working with the project, we'll, we'll discuss with the client how many organizations they have legally registered or established either within single country or multiple countries they can have. So we are going to gather those information as a requirement document, and then we are going to configure this. I'm going to mention Tata New York Corporation. Postal code one double two double zero. This is going to be our uh, New York code. Let me press. Okay. Now the legal address is ready. Once the legal address is completed successfully, let's go for creation of legal entity here. I'm going to create a new legal entity. While creating legal entity, we can find that legal address is mandatory. Without legal address, we cannot create legal entity okay so let's go for enter we got already country here and it's a tata new york corporation legal entity and this all identification number and uh, starting organization number this all details means uh, start date legal address we'll be getting from the client that we are supposed to configure here where is Tata legal address? Just now we created in our previous setup. We can just go for search here. And place of registration, choose and uh, tax identification number, unit registration number and save. So we can go for create a legal entity here. And whenever we want to make it as a legal employer, we have to check this checkbox so that we can hire an employee. The moment when we make it as legal employer, we are supposed to make it as a PSU or we are supposed to associate this to the another PSU. Okay. So here we can find a PSU that owns the legal employer. This is legal employer. Either you should pay the salary, means you in the sense from this company itself, you are supposed to make the salaries to this legal employer or you are supposed to make it as uh, associate with another PSU. So I'm going to make this legal entity itself is a PSU. Okay. Now I could see three organizations here. One is legal entity, another one is legal employer, another one is uh, PSU, another one is PSU here. So legal entity is an uh, established organization and legal employer is an uh, indirectly legal entity. It's uh, where we can hire an employee and then we can go for PSU, payroll statutory unit, where you are going to run the payroll and pay the salaries to the employees. So this is going to be our uh, legal entity setup. Once we create a legal entity, we must attach this legal entity to the ledger as well as to the legislative data group. It's mandatory. We must attach. Otherwise, we cannot go for hire an employee and we cannot go for assign this legal entity uh, associate with the business units. Okay. So what I'm going to do is, uh, first we'll see that legislative data group. We don't need to create a new LDC at this point of time because for every country, we have one built-in LDC. We can utilize that. Generally, when we are working in the real time also, there will be only one LDZ for one country. It's mandatory. We can have multiple legislative data group in case of different payroll cost allocation structures. If you are going to pay the salaries to your employees, and if you are going to calculate your payroll expenditure with the different cost hierarchy, in that time, they will be using the payroll cost allocation key flux field structure. This comes under costing. 
cost management, payroll costing. It's a separate module. Payroll is different. Payroll costing is different. Okay, it comes under cost management where we are going to prepare accounting uh, transactions. It's going to be a replica of accounting key flux fields from finance. And once we prepare this cost calculations, we'll transfer those accounts to GL for reconciliation purpose, okay? So right now we'll go ahead with this legislative data group, okay, US legislative data group. So whatever the PSU we have registered that we are supposed to assign. So go to the task, uh, manage legal entity, HCM information. Manage legal entity, HCM information, and we'll choose here select what is your legal employer means uh, psu tata this is what and now here itself we can find the status of this particular legal entity it's active and it's a psu as well as it's a legal employer it's a legal employer it's not associated with any other parent psu that itself is a psu Okay, so we can pay the salaries from here itself. Now select the scope. Scope is basically uh, to provide the option to us uh, whether you want to create a new one or you want to search for existing uh, objects. Okay, now this is our legal entity. And while creating this legal entity, we enable two checkboxes. One is legal employer, another one is a PSU. One is legal employer, another one is a PSU. That's why we got these two tabs. Okay. So go to PSU tab. The moment when we go to PSU, then only we'll be able to find out that this option associate legislative data group, which LDZ you would like to associate this one. So we wanted to go for associate with the US uh, legislative data group. We want to associate with US legislative data group here and go for submit. Okay, so here are important questions related for the legal entities in the entry point of view. The question number one, what is legal entity? Legal entity is nothing but a legal organization where the client has registered their organization with the registered authority. That's what we call it as a legal entity. Okay, how many legal entities you have created for your client in the current project? For example, we say that my client is I Omega client. They have a business in US and UK, two countries, and they have two legal entities. One is in US, another one is in UK. So I created two legal addresses and two legal entities. I, we made it as both are legal employer and both are PSUs. Okay, that's fine. Can we assign the legal entity to the LDZ? Can we assign the legal entity to the LDZ? Generally, we'll say it as yes, but actually your legal entity should be a PSU. Then only you can associate with LDZ. Otherwise, you cannot. For example, let me just create one simple legal entity here. Try to attach to the LDZ. It won't allow you. In fact, it won't show that option also. I'm just trying to create one just legal entity. I'm not going to make anything here. TTA. So this legal entity I have created successfully, TTA. I just try to attach this to the LDC. Let's go for a search option here. And now TTA. See, the legal entity does not exist. Why it's showing does not exist? Legal entity is there. Then why it's showing it's not exist? The reason might be start date. I think we have not entered start date. Let me cross check once. Legal entity task here. Yeah, we are in the scope of legal entity only. Fine. Manage legal entity HCM information.
Yeah. So it's showing that the legal entity does not exist. Uh, why it's showing? Because the legal entity is already created, right? A legal entity is already created. Then why it is not showing? I'll tell you. If you go to the legal entity task, then not a problem. If you go to legal entity task, it will show you this is so and so legal entity. Okay, it's there. It's there. Even you, if you provide the start date is, let's say they started business in 2023, then it's fine. It's okay. Okay, it's there. But when I go to HCM information, showing that this legal entity is not exist. If it is not exist, then how the scope will be selected? It's very simple. HCM information, if you want to configure, it must be a legal employer or it must be a PSC. Okay, if it is legal employer, then only you can make it as a PSC. So it's a hierarchy. First legal entity, then legal employer, then only you can make it as a PSC, right? Okay, so while creating legal entity, what I'm trying to do is I'm telling that it's a legal employer, but not PSU and associated with some other PSU. Okay, associated with some other PSU. Now it will show us when I go to legal entity at CM information. Now see, there is only one tab, legal employer. This is a company. Your client is telling that I started my company called TTA in uh, New York and I have employees, I have employees, but I don't pay salaries. If you do not pay the salaries to the employees in this company, then you, you cannot assign this company to LDC. Okay. Because a legislative data group is a top level organization where we will be maintaining our legislation payroll information. Whatever the salary structure you are going to pay, that payroll information you are going to maintain at LDZ level, legislative data group, indirectly legislation, statutory rules and regulations. Okay, so now this is a legal entity and you made it as a legal employer and you will be performing this service. Okay, so the question is, can I assign my legal entity to LDZ? No, it must be a PSU. If your legal entity is a PSU, then you can assign to LDZ. Otherwise, we cannot. Why? What is the reason? Because only the PSUs can be associated with LDZ to maintain this payroll related information. In legal entity, no employees. In legal employer, employees are there, no payroll information. Why it is not there? Because you are not paying the salaries to your employees from this legal employer. You are paying it some from other PSUs. Okay. So that's that's about the three organizations, legal entity, legal employer, and PSU. Three options we are supposed to cross-check this information. Very, very important. Okay. So while working with the legal employer, there are two more setups here. One is uh, worker number setup. Another one is uh, position synchronization. We'll be talking about that when we are working in the employee hiring process. Whenever we are working with employee hiring, we have person number, worker number, different types of methods, generation and position synchronization process. We'll talk about that later. Okay, so this is about uh, how we can create a legal entity and make it as a PSU and associate it with the legislative data group. Now we are going for the task called primary ledger. Now we are going for the task called primary ledger. So go to primary ledger. Either we can use existing ledger, which is already exist. Otherwise, we can go for create a new ledger. Generally, ledger configuration is a job of finance functional consultant. We'll not be working on that here. So I'm just taking some built-in fields and try to configure it here. Let's go for create a ledger. Now the ledger has been created successfully. Yeah, ledger has done successfully. Okay, now what we have to do is uh, assign this legal entity to the ledger. So what is the task name? Assign legal entities is the task name which we will be using to assign our legal entity to the ledger. Go to select option and this system is asking select your ledger. So what is your ledger? Search for the ledger, press enter key. We have to press enter here. Sometimes we don't find this particular row, this, oh, that is due to this option. Uh, how we can go for search here is there is option here. 
query by example click on this and you can go for search press enter key you don't find any search button or particular icon here press enter key and you will find it here now what we have done here is we selected the ledger and within the ledger we are going to associate either one legal entity or multiple legal entities okay so your legal entity should be assigned to the ledger legal entity is the top hierarchy within sorry ledger is the top hierarchy within the ledger we are going to have the legal entities within the ledger we are going to have the legal entities is it mandatory setup i don't want to use this ledger because i am not using my client is not implementing financials only human capital is implementing do we need to configure this yes it's mandatory the mill ledger you have to create at least because uh, next level when you try to associate your bu to the legal entity then it will shows that your legal entity is not exist if it is not assigned with the ledger can we have multiple legal entities within the ledger so ledger is already there can we have multiple legal entities within the ledger yes we can have we can have multiple legal entities within the ledger okay so it means multiple companies multiple companies will share the same ledger ledger means like currency calendar chart of accounts it is all we are going to have it here this is about the ledger options over here what we have defined legal entities and ledger so whenever we are working with the legal entity we need to interact with the client number of legal addresses legal entities legal employers psus associate with lec associate with the ledger this entire setup we are supposed to do by gathering the information from the client about that here okay thank you